Welcome to American Arms Channel. I'm Drake. Today we're going to be talking about a topic near and dear to my heart, and that's preventing our pups and other critters from contracting nasty diseases from nasty little vermin, such as ticks and, of course, Lyme disease. The best way to do this is with a topical or with a repellent collar, and I'll discuss what we chose for my family in just a second. I'd like to thank Strix Outdoors for giving me the initiative to post this video. He put up a video talking about permethrin products and how to protect yourself when going out into the woods this summer and even into the fall. And after a year of using permethrin products, my wife and I have yet to have another tick on us, even living in high tick areas such as Nebraska and the Appalachian Mountain area of Virginia. So I can say that it definitely works. But when it comes to our pups, we choose Soresto collars. And even though Soresto collars can vary in price from $35 or $45 up to $90 or $100, depending upon where you source them and what size you need, it's absolutely worth it. Just as the saying goes, an ounce of preventative is worth a pound of cure. Well, when it comes to things like Lyme disease, an ounce of preventative or $100 worth of preventative is worth all the pounds of cure in the world. Because a lot of times there may not be a cure and we may lose that beloved pet and family member if we don't take care of them and have those preventative measures. Now, checking over your animal every time you go out into the woods is very important. Even when you have a repellent product such as a frontline topical or a Soresto collar. But also remember that ticks and other vermin can exist in your yard, even if you've treated it. Those treatments wear down. They don't stay around due to the elements. New vermin can come in on rabbits, birds, other creatures that will cross paths through your yard or across your property. So it's always a good idea to make sure that you check your dogs over, check your cats over when you venture out in the woods and even from time to time when they come back inside from either doing their business or just enjoying the outdoors. So really folks, the best way to prevent your animals from contracting something like Lyme disease and developing complications like myasthenia gravis or acute kidney failure, among other problems that the diseases can cause and riddle the body with, make sure you check over your animals when they come back inside, whether in your yard or whether through the woods, out camping, out hunting, or in the fields. Make sure you have a preventative, something that not only kills vermin that get on your animal, but make sure it repels them, something that's waterproof and something that is safe for your animal. Some animals are very sensitive to topicals like Frontline and other alternatives, but collars like the Soresto collar can be very safe for them and is an easy way to prevent every problem that can occur when it comes to vermin biting. I hope this video was helpful, guys, and I hope it made you think a little bit more about your fuzzy friend and how you can make their life so much better. As always, guys, God bless, keep your powder dry, and I'll see you in the next video.